kind of shocked. I think this is one of the best steaks I've ever tasted. This is actually the bomb. Like, hubby knows what he's doing. I'm thoroughly impressed. Indeed. And I didn't pay her wow. to say that. Your daughter's you trying to some? get some steak. You want some? <laughs> What's hey up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Brawly mm -hmm. Story. So today is an episode I'm gonna really enjoy making, mm -hmm. which is simply because we are making steak, my favorite way to make steak. His beloved steaks. That's the oven <laughs> preheating right now, letting <laughs> us know, hey, you can go ahead and make this steak, bro. Uh -huh. So we're gonna make steak my favorite way. I'll show you how I do it, and hopefully you like it and try it out. Before we get into all of that, of course, as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you like the mm -hmm. video first and foremost, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Every week, y'all, you know we are dropping new content on healthy lifestyle, business, relationships, and marriage, faith. Make sure you click that bell notification so you don't miss a video. All right, and we always shout out one of our subscribers. Today mm -hmm. we are shouting out Tammy. Thanks so much, Tammy, for being Thank a faithful so subscriber. Much. We really appreciate your support on the channel. Thank you for all your kind comments you leave us and for all your love. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. This is a family affair. I'm on video duty and Isabella is just being Isabella. So sometimes she's going to try to talk over her father in this video. Indeed. So just prepare yourselves. Isn't that right, Isabella? Hmm. <laughs> she's ready to eat too. He's like, hurry up, make this steak and give me some. Mm. First things first, guys, you want to get a good cut of meat. This is a New York strip. We're going to get into cooking the steak my way, which is not my way. I spent hours and hours just watching YouTube videos, reading Pinterest blogs on how they cook your steak the right way. I love getting a good steak, especially at a restaurant, a higher quality steak. It was so difficult and elusive for me to figure out how to do it right. So I studied on YouTube hours and hours, a lot of failed attempts as well, but now I finally got it. So we're gonna get into it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you get a good cut of meat. You're wanting to be USDA choice or above. So it'll say USDA choice or prime. If you're really getting fancy and got some money to spend, you want the Wagyu and all of that, but we're on the budget here in the Brawley story. So that's right. Right now we, <laughs> we stick with that USDA choice. It's very affordable. You can spend 15 bucks or something like that, 10 to 15 bucks, get a good steak, and it'll taste delicious if you do it right. It tastes like you're getting it at a restaurant that charges you 50, 60 bucks. So yes, the first step when you have that steak is to make sure that you get it really dry. So you wanna take a paper towel and start drying it. You wanna just dry it. Now the steak is not gonna end up being dry when you do this but you want the exterior of the steak to be dry. Very important. And in between, what you're gonna wanna do is salt and pepper. You notice these are the only two seasonings I have out, but you wanna salt it liberally so that it penetrates. And you see, ooh, that's too much. Now you don't want salt balls jumping out, so you wanna break those up. Now obviously, most people use a salt shaker, but whatever. <laughs> Ooh, another. So you want to spread it out equally. Use the pepper. And you want the peppercorns that you can crack. That adds more flavor. It works well for your steak. And you want to do it liberally. And that's all I use for my steaks to season them. That's all it needs, honestly. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna pat it dry on both sides. Give it any extra moisture. And I love doing this, guys. It's very simple, very easy. And then you're gonna put the pepper on it. Some salt. And 
And the next step is we're gonna let this puppy rest in the fridge for, you know, as long as you do 30 minutes, it'll work. But ideally, a whole day works even better because we have some time. We're gonna let it rest for a day. So, sorry, baby. <laughs> first things first, I want you to notice we dried our steak and we've set it. Now, what we're putting it on is a chef's baking sheet no. with the cooling rack for the oven. And that's key to keep this steak dry. That's something that took me a long time to figure out why my steaks weren't coming out like the restaurants is because I was baking my steaks, even when I was trying to reverse here, in their own juices, which causes it uh, too much moisture. And then it will not sear properly. So this is critical. This steak, if you notice, the color has changed. It's a lot more red. It looks almost like it has a crust automatically on it. It kind of reminds you of jerky. That's with the salt and pepper and letting it sit for a day or two does. It makes a tremendous difference on how this steak cooks. So the next step is to throw this thing in the oven on 350. If you got a convection bake setting, use that because it cooks it more evenly around. And then you're gonna have to play with it to figure out what temperature that you want your steak. Guys, this is the reverse sear method. It's my personal favorite way to make a steak and it works great. Is it done? It is not done. I don't eat my steak looking like this. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. <laughs> so it doesn't look like much, but a lot has taken place in this preparation. If you notice, the key to cooking it right is to keep it dry. A lot of people want to figure out how to get the crust like they get at the restaurant. The key is to keep it dry. And that's what this oven safety rack or, or cooling rack is for, is to keep it dry. So it's not cooking in its own juices. Yeah, so it's great, it works excellent, and it gets a better cook on that steak. So again, I don't eat it looking like this, but this sets the stage. Now, this adds the very final ingredient that you're gonna need, which is some oil. So all I do typically is I'm letting it rest. I put a little bit of oil on this steak just to coat it. And this is what's gonna help us get that crust really nice. And then also just rubbing it on directly helps you not to waste any oil. And that's enough, right? That was just one cap full, enough for both sides on this particular steak. And I get the sides too, because I like to sear the sides. There you have it. I'm gonna let this thing sit. Not for long, just long enough for me to warm the cast iron skillet up. So now, we are ready. guys now you can see this steak is juicy is crispy it has got a little bit of grease on it it's gonna be delicious so let's go ahead and plate this thing up and taste it Ooh wee! that crust looks right it looks delicious it looks right definitely use your fan if you're doing this indoors because you will set off the smoke alarm if you don't another thing you want to have your cast iron skillet preheating before you put it in. The way I know it's ready is there should be a little bit of smoke coming from the cast iron skillet before you put that. I heat my cast iron skillet on medium high heat and I wait till it gains enough heat that I see a little bit of smoke and then I know it's ready to go ahead and sear my steak. All right, everybody, so now's the time to go ahead and taste it. It smells good, y'all. It uh, smells good and that crust looks right. Yeah, I'm gonna let her get the first bite. Can't say I'm mad he knows how to make his own steak. <sighs> That's just because it's easier on her. That's right. That's exactly why. Weak. Mmm. <sighs> it's good. It's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. All right. It's very flavorful. The crust is right. Mm-hmm. 
It's very good, actually. Mm. I'm not really a steak person, but it's, it's actually mm. jumping. Mm -mm -mm. I love me some steak. Very good. So you really did your thing. I told you. You did your thing. I'm telling you, I'm a student of the game. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of shocked. But I'm not a steak person. Your daughter's you trying to some? get some steak. You want some? She can't eat that. <laughs> I'm give her a little piece. She's going to end up spitting that out. She's like, what? No, she likes meat. See, she wants some more. You like that steak, girl? <laughs> you like that steak? You want more? You want some more? You want some more? Let me give you a little real tender piece. How is it, girl? It was good. Did daddy do a good job? Did daddy do a good job? Huh? Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I think Isabella agrees. A plus. A plus. That's the way to do it. And I didn't even get the butter basted. <laughs> A plus, y'all. Even Isabella loves it. This is probably her first time having steak, isn't it? It's definitely her first time having steak. <laughs> Look at her ripping off some more. <laughs> <laughs> Your baby eats steak. <laughs> Your baby? What is wrong with her? <laughs> Your baby. <laughs> wow. I just tasted this piece that has the little pink in the middle. A little, uh adventure for you it is actually the bomb tastes like bacon what i tell you and who doesn't love bacon it's better than bacon it's this is steak. this is actually the bomb like hubby knows what he's doing so it's delicious and i didn't pay her wow. to say that wow now guys this is not a cheat day if it was a cheat day i could hook it up even more because i didn't <laughs> get the butter basted <laughs> and that sets it to a whole nother level it mm -hmm. tastes buttery to me. Yeah, naturally. it is naturally buttery. Yeah, it naturally Super got a good fat. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Wow, that's actually really, really good. Now, important to make sure that you sear that that fat on the back too. You sear that fat. I am thoroughly impressed. Mm. I'm thoroughly impressed. Indeed. Wow. I think this is one of the best steaks I've ever tasted. There you have it. And I'm not just saying that. I normally you have don't it. even order steak, but. This is one of the best. This is really good. Job well done. Preach. Job well done. Appreciate it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna go ahead and smash this steak. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. And when you subscribe, make sure you leave us a comment saying, I subscribed. And we'll be more than happy to reach out to you personally and thank you for joining the family. And until next time, guys. Peace. And stay. Mm. <laughs>